What is up, everybody? This is John with Archer Fish. I am back on the spot. We've gotten so much rain in the last 24 hours. That is why I'm out here. I love fishing after the rain. It's weird because it was still raining going across the bridge, but it's not raining over here. So you never know. I may get stuck in the rain, but it's all right because rain brings out the big fish. Uh, it speeds up the current. It mixes all kinds of uh, you know forage into the water. It creates a whole chain reaction. So I love fishing in the rain or after the rain. Uh, if you haven't seen my videos where my dad caught a giant snook and I caught a giant redfish in the rain, um, check it out. Um, yeah, I'm back at the spot. I'm gonna try to get on some big fish. Tarpon has been the name of the game here and I'm, I love catching them because I really haven't caught a whole lot of decent sized ones. So the last couple that I've caught were my biggest they are a blast because they are so strong. They're so acrobatic. Um, it's awesome. But I want to catch a giant snook or redfish. I feel like it's been a long time since I caught a monster red or a monster snook. Um, yeah, so that's kind of what I'm hoping for. I may use some live bait, like that's not shrimp, or some cut bait. I don't know yet. I hate doing that. I hate killing the fish. Ironic, but I hate doing it. Um, so yeah, I'm back at the spot. I'm gonna try one of my spots over here and then maybe hit uh, the magic spot. But there's a lot of people fishing today. They all have the same idea as me and it's not, it doesn't even look like it rained over here. Um, so it might be uh, crowded over there, especially after releasing my videos, people have been going to the spot, which is fine. You know, I'm, I'm here to fish and uh, you know, we can all share. All right, I just drove by one of my spots and it looked like it was loaded with tarp and there was already a guy there. So I'm gonna give him a space. Um, but it looked like I'm seeing, I was seeing tons of tarpon rolling, um, which is cool. Good for him. Hopefully he gets on some. I feel like because of this rain and the current, the tarpon are going to be out, you know, getting little bugs and all the little shrimp and all the other little, little fishes and stuff. So good for him. I'm not going to mess with his spot. I'm going to try another spot briefly and then start. All right. Just like the last spot where I didn't want to bother the guy. This spot is really active. I'm seeing fish hit the surface i'm hearing them it look like tarpon rolling so and it's high tide it looks perfect i gotta get in there you can hear them right now no i have caught every kind of fish you can think of from this spot snook redfish jacks tarpon trout sheephead cichlids oh there's one oh, little tarpon all kinds of things popping over here. I mean, that's snuck right there. Ay, ay, ay. Sorry, buddy. Shout out to the kids I met. What's up? Thanks for subscribing. Also, man, this place was going off like 30 minutes ago. The tide was like perfect. And every culvert I passed was going off. I could see the fish. Mostly little little um, tarpon and, and small snook. But there's still a little bit going on here. But for the most part, the tide stopped. And, you know, I'm seeing smaller fish but I think it's time to go to the other spot because it is a long walk and it's hot and humid out, so gotta get there. All right, here comes the rain. It's pretty good for a little while. All right, so as you can see, there's nothing going on tide-wise here. It's like completely up and going out. So as I've said before, like these predator fish, especially like snook and tarpon, they respond to the current. They turn on, start feeding gives them a time to feed so they're not just like constantly feeding especially in a place like this it's loaded with, with bait and things for them so a little trout as soon as I switch to the swim bait as soon as I switch to the swim bay, big snook. Oh, yeah. Immediately. 
Damn. Man, I just started throwing the swim bait. And right as it's a couple feet in front of me by the rocks, it gets hammered by this big snook. And I was trying to rush to turn my video on it. Oh, there's a little snook. They are just going nuts right now. There's something. <clears throat> Snook. Fired up little snook. That's fun. Fatty. Come here, buddy. Again. Hold them upside down. And they don't thrash. Oh. What is that? A little snook, maybe? Nope, big old snapper. Big old snapper. Well, it's not that big, honestly. Big enough to eat if I was eating them. Little dude. Barely hooked. Nice. All right, big snook just ate this little snapper. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, I had a I caught a little snapper and he, he the snook ate it. Sorry, buddy, didn't mean to do that. Right. All right, buddy. Nah, it's too. I think it's too salty because the ocean's right there. I have caught cichlids in Ding Darling though. Yeah. Yeah.
my back. I did some, I used to live in Colorado, so I did a lot of trout fishing in there in California. I don't know, something about it. That was pretty cool. Lots of snook. So funny. I was getting nothing on the uh, shrimp. I was aiming for the tarpon again. And then I put on a swim bait and first cast. Biggest snook of the day. And probably the last few weeks. Definitely the biggest. Just tore up the big old bait buster that I had. Immediately ripped it in half. I don't even think I got the snook on video. I wasn't even like prepared. Maybe. Anyway, that was cool. So I caught a bunch of snook. That was awesome. Tarpon just were not hitting today. Don't know why. It was just beautiful weather. Except for that little tarpon at Ding. Anyway, shout out to my man, Andrew, that I saw. And uh, my fly fishing buddy. Good luck out there this week. Later.